Good afternoon, this is Andy from Vehicle Fits. This is a demonstration of what we've done to this Ford Ranger. This Ford Ranger has had the uh, Starline alarm system on there with front proximity, with rear um, load area sensor. Uh, you'll see as we stand next to the van, um, it takes a few seconds to arm, and you've got a front proximity worn away. So without even touching the vehicle, you get um, an audible and visual notification of um, somebody attempting to stand near it. So as you get too close, the vehicle will warn you away. It's got a tilt sensor on there. The worn away shock sensor, so a light impact around the vehicle will give you um, a nice audible and visual notification that will also push to the customer's phone. On this one, the customer's also got um, a max liner and he wanted some protection on the back here. So what we've done, if anyone sort of starts to mess around with the, uh, the back of the van, it goes full trigger. Um, also, also wind, wind up horn honk as well. So I'll show you what we've done to the back. This is a, um, a Bluetooth load area sensor. So, ooh, it's actually a motion and tilt sensor, uh, battery powered. This is why it's contact on the, uh, on the lid. So any movement, there's a read switch on there as well. Any movement of the back area will detect and trigger. That's just rearm because you close the boot. Uh, we've also got remote start on this, which is controllable off the app or off the remote. So three clicks of the uh, remote and you'll see the vehicle will start. Start and run, which is good. So I'll run for a quarter of an hour to uh, warm the vehicle up or cool it down, depending on what the temperature of the vehicle dictates. So we've also got on this a ghost mode. So when you come to unlock the vehicle, you enter the vehicle, you'll see the vehicle, the engine is running, so place your keys down in the normal place. If you can hear that, you've got um, three beeps telling you that the vehicle is running, but you still can't drive it. So what you have to do is basically take over the vehicle by turning the ignition on. That's uh, full ignition takeover. This boots up the, the vehicle fully, but it's still beeping. If you can hear that, which basically means that the gearbox is locked. So, if you can see my foot on the brake there, we've got a gearbox lock. It's a nice feature. Um, it's a second level of authorization. When you unlock the van, it needs to see the Bluetooth tag uh, nearby to stop the alarm going off. But even still, it's uh, it's been uh, immobilized. So we've used the, uh, the cruise control buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. I'll just enter the code. Two beeps confirmation, and you'll, hear, you'll see two, two flashes of the uh, status LED. And that's now enabled the gearbox lock. If you need a relay, click in. So, a nice system. It basically operates the same as a ghost immobiliser. Um, it needs a authorization code for the vehicle to actually drive. Uh, it did have a ghost on this, but we had to remove it because it wasn't compatible with a remote start. We have an extra LED up in the headlining, so I'll just show you that. Turn the engine off. Um, it, at night, this is uh, very bright. We've got a proximity sensor up in the headlining. That's just warning me away now. Um, yeah, nice system. So it's a shock sensor, tilt sensor, motion sensor, dual, shock, dual stage shock sensor. We've got a wireless sensor in the boot, looking after the, uh, the load area. We've got remote start. We're coming back for mirror fold because we need um, a little relay pack for some of these mirrors. So he's going to have mirror fold and potentially um, window lift as well. So yeah, that's the Starline S9 with ghost and load area sensor. Supplied with a fitted by vehicle fitting West Midlands. And here is remote start once again. Nice touch. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.